In this video, I will rank 4 ways to monitor the blind spot zone while driving. This will be based on research and my driving experience. Coming in at number 4 is looking over the shoulder. It is a very important advice in driving school to always look over your shoulders before making a turn or switching lanes. You will most likely fail your driver's license road test if you fail to do so. However, many drivers do not practice this in real life. It really takes a lot of energy to constantly look over your shoulders while driving. And looking over the shoulder will result in drivers briefly losing sight of what is happening in front of the motor vehicle. This blind spot monitoring option comes in at number 4 because it is always available even with other blind spot technologies I will mention here. At number 3 are blind spot sensors. These work by detecting vehicle in the blind spot zone and send a signal to the driver. This signal is usually a light in the mirror itself. Modern motor vehicles are now being equipped with blind spot sensors, but not all blind spot sensors are created equal. Some blind spot sensors have limited range and might not cover the entire blind spot zone. Also, Blind spot sensors do not give an actual image of the vehicle or object in the blind spot zone. Drivers would have to look over their shoulders to see which vehicle is there and that is the reason blind spot sensors rank better than looking over the shoulder. At number 2 are blind spot mirrors. Most blind spot mirrors are aftermarket and have to be installed by drivers themselves or professionals. Blind spot mirrors work by displaying exactly what is in the blind spot zone of the vehicle. It is important to note that blind spot mirrors are just as good as how they were adjusted. This means that they would be useless if not adjusted properly. See a video in the description below showing how to properly install and adjust blind spot mirrors. Being able to see exactly what is happening in the blind spot zone give blind spot mirrors the edge over advanced blind spot sensors. Blind spot mirrors though can be a little challenge to adjust properly and they are usually small which give a small display. There are large blind spot mirrors available but they are not very attractive. Finally, in the number one spot are optical blind spot cameras. This technology solves all the problems of not being able to monitor the blind spot zone. This system uses cameras to the side of the vehicle and live stream the blind spot zone to the driver. The live stream is displayed on a display screen in the car. Some blind spot camera systems allow drivers to keep the blind spot cameras running to constantly monitor the blind spot zone, while other systems only switch on the blind spot camera after the turn signal is activated. There are some new systems that allow both these features and more advanced features seem to always be in the making. A lot of motor vehicles with optical blind spot cameras only have it on the right hand side for right and drive vehicles because that's where the larger blind spot zone is located. Also, most motor vehicles being manufactured right now do not have this feature. However, based on how quickly technology is advancing, I'm sure this feature will become standard in all motor vehicles in the near future. There is also the option of installing aftermarket blind spot cameras. Aftermarket blind spot cameras come as standalone systems and some come with aftermarket Android radio upgrade. Tesla and Honda are two vehicle manufacturers that have been equipping their vehicle with blind spot cameras. There you have it. That's my ranking of 4 ways to monitor blind spot zone of a vehicle. Let me know in the comment below if you would rank these differently or if you are aware of any other technology to monitor the blind spot zone. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe and share. Also, hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as I upload a new video. See you on the next one guys.